this is this is what a Higgs decay would look like in Atlas. So in this, that, and that's a theoretical predict. That is a this is a theoretical prediction. A graphic sort of representation of what you think you're looking for. Right. And so what you can kind of see here is actually really kind of this is how experimental physics becomes difficult. Is there's actually <laughs> four distinct particles um, coming from the Higgs and a bunch of other particles coming from the rest of the, the proton collision All that right, we don't care about. Let me just uh, get back here to primitive man. Uh, now, <laughs> at the center there, that represents the, the collision, collision point, and then the spray coming off there right. is, is the various things that, you're, you're, that sort of represent these, these explosive particles that you're imagining right. seeing. And then what's this ring around the outside? So, so this is a cross section. This is like basically if you sliced Atlas uh, through see. the center. So, the, so the, beam, the... the beam is coming kind of into the screen and out of the screen. I see. Um, and you've kind of just looking at this cross section of it. And at the center is the collision. And so the Higgs has collided there and, uh, and we don't see it. We only see its products. And it's, deca it's decayed into two Z bosons. And those two Z bosons, which we also don't detect, has decayed into one Z boson's gone to two muons and one Z boson's gone to two electrons. And so what you see is here, if you see these two um, lines that are coming out all the way at the end, those would be the muons coming from the Z boson. And if you see these two points, these little lines that are leading to this kind of Lego-like thing. The bar looking thing there. The bar yeah. looking okay, thing, right. those would be the two electrons. And all this other stuff is just other particles that just came along for the ride. <laughs> and didn't, aren't really a part of the Higgs decay itself. And so we kind of, one of the things we have to do experimentally is get rid of all that other stuff and then try to find those four um, particles. So it's kind of like a double needle in the haystack. One is trying to find the Higgs particle out of those 40 million collisions a second. And the second is trying to find the products of the Higgs decay out of all the crap. All right, so back to you, Frank. All right, that's hard.